Hello, gorgeous. Hope you're well, vibing high, living your very best way. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. Um, today, we're going to do what is coming towards you, Scorpio. What is coming towards you um, from now till the end of December. If you would like a personal read, please visit my website. You can find that in the description of this video as well as um, in my bio. It is a new website, but you can see my schedule and book with me for a FaceTime right from there or um, order a video read. I do have a $5 off video, I mean, or reading special in general. If you would um, like to join a group for people in separation, I am starting, I've started a group, but I've now had to move it to um, Facebook. So if you have already joined, know that we are moving it over to Facebook. I cannot stand the platform that um, my website has offered. I thought it would be a good thing and I am so sorry and so embarrassed. I know you all are going through a lot. I don't wanna cause you more issues, but we've got to get out of this platform so people can talk and I can go live and whatever. So I have um, started that, email me or um, my email is in the description or visit my website and message me. You can contact me straight from my website. I will send you the link. For those who have joined the group, I did post the link to the um, Facebook group. I have have nothing on it yet but I have a lot of content I'm getting ready to um, share so with that being said if you like my vibe please like and subscribe my goodness I'm just going on and on I'm like a, a car salesman here um, but let's get into this Scorpio um, I hurt myself yesterday I cut myself so my hands feeling a little funny it like got all swollen and stuff you see it Ugh, I cut myself um, but let's get into this um, I have some energy pulled out here on what is coming towards you. Oh, I see patience popped out of the deck already. Something you need to be patient about. Avoid the trap of making, of mistaking fantasy for a true soul connection. So a lot of you here could be, um, not that it's not a true soul connection. It could be a false twin flame, but it also could be, um, there's a lot of illusion going on around you and a person because, you know, when you don't talk to somebody, when you don't hear what somebody, you know, they don't tell you things, you start making things up in your mind. That's just what we do. You don't know what the hell is going on. So I feel there's some illusions going on here. You may be thinking the worst or you may be thinking about something um, that is really an illusion. It's not even true. Um, so be careful of doing that. If, if you haven't heard it or or feel it in your intuition you need to try to decipher what is your intuition and what is those negative racing thoughts right so really be mindful of that of not being in an illusion but I do feel you could have somebody coming towards you that you're gonna cherish cherish the relationship you're gonna cherish the love that you share because you i do feel that you could be dreaming about somebody you could be having dreams or you could have a dream very very soon about a person um share your dreams together and encourage each other <clears throat> to make them reality so some of you here you have a person coming towards you that's going to want the same things you are now, this could be a um, person that you already know, a person that you already have a connection with, or it could be a new one. But I feel you're having actual dreams. Um, you could be dreaming about a person or, um, you know, something like that. What's coming towards Scorpio? Who is coming towards Scorpio? Spirit. Who is coming towards Scorpio? Oh. Somebody who wants a second chance. This person wants a second chance. They feel like this relationship deserves a second chance, but we also have radical acceptance and surrender will let you let go, release. So there's some illusions that need to be released. There's some fear that needs to be released. There's a lot that needs to be released for you all to be able to have this second chance because the chemistry is off the charts. You have a lot of chemistry with this person. You share a lot of chemistry with them. Um, so guys I'm trying here and obviously this is going to be about an ex I I you know really want to try for those who want new love I'm trying I I'm trying I'm simply asking who is coming towards you and um it is somebody watching you an ex 
watching you, observing you, wants to know what you're doing, fascinated with you, curious about you. Now, this could be somebody that you were actually in a relationship or with, or this could be somebody that you had a run-in with before, or like, a, you know, maybe you hooked up with them, or maybe it was just a um, casual thing, right? So tell me about chemistry spirit. What is chemistry? Yeah, somebody had the, was in denial about your relationship, about the fact that you are soulmates, okay? So this is a past soulmate, I feel, that you had a lot of chemistry with. Now, um, this person um, looks at you as a divine feminine or divine masculine here. Um, they look at you as a soulmate, but they were in denial. They were not um, being honest about their feelings with their self. They weren't being honest with you about their feelings either. What is second chance? This person could have been really aloof, acted like they just didn't care at all um, about you. So, yeah. Something could have happened in the summer, okay? You could have, the last time you talked to him, them could have been in the summer. But this is the thing. You are expanding. Make sure you're staying connected to spirit. You are going through an ascension right now. Your person's going through an ascension right now, okay? So make sure you're staying connected to spirit. It's time to see the sunny side of life. Spirit is telling you to start feeling uh, more high vibe. If you want this second chance, being in a higher vibration is going to help you bring them back in. There's something about your belief systems that are changing, their belief systems that are changing. Maybe they didn't, for, they, maybe they didn't used to believe in soulmate or twin flame. Maybe now they're changing that. They're alone though. They feel alone. They feel abandoned. They feel hurt. But you could feel this way too, Scorpio. You could feel lost, but know that the, the divine is with you. You're never alone, sweetie. If you're feeling this way, you're not alone. You are not. And reach out. You have a friend here in PA. It's going to be all right. If you're feeling lonely, know that the divine is with you. Your ancestors are with you. Your angels are with you. You are never alone. You're, you may be alone, but not lonely. That's how I feel. Um... I, when I'm alone, um, my boyfriend works out of town a lot. And so I am alone a lot and I am not alone though. I don't feel alone ever. And once you ascend here, you're going to realize that you are never alone. And I feel like a lot of you are in the middle of an ascension. You are growing spiritually. You are growing in a lot of ways. You are growing. Tell me about release and radical acceptance spirit. What is this? Yes, there's a lot going on here in the 5D. You are connected at a soul level. You are connected at a soul level. Whatever is happening here, patience, per perseverance, divine timing. Um, trust that, that the divine knows when. Tr trust, but you have to accept and release the past. You have to accept what has happened and release it. Because it, raising your vibration is going to help healing, Spirit is saying. Healing is going to bring this back together. Now, if you don't want this person back, um, then just heal in general. Because you could have somebody coming towards you that shares your dreams. Um, some A new person possibly coming towards you. So, I mean, just because this person's energy is the strongest here today doesn't mean that some of you do not have a new person coming towards you that you're going to have a lot of chemistry with. But there's something you need to release. Maybe you need to release this person for a new person to come in because they're coming in here in the Knight of Wands energy. They're coming in in a sexual way because there's so much chemistry with y'all. They're like, super turned on by you whatever they're seeing they're extremely turned on by it extremely turned on spirit tell me what is chemistry and soulmate yeah they look they look at you as single abundant living your very best life happy successful you could be self-employed you could be doing the damn thing scorpio this is how they see you at least Birds love you. Animals love you. You are in pre-empress, pre-emperor status, baby. Stack in your pentacles. So you are looking great to them. You look like a whole ass dinner. Not a snack, but a dinner. They want to come in here and um, give you their wand. They are, though, uh, 
I feel you are beat up. Ask your angels for help, guys. Never give up, okay? Ask your angels for help. You are protected. You are protected. You're wounded right now. You're wounded. This person has wounded you. This person has, has wounded you, but don't count you out yet, Scorpio. I don't. I don't count you out, baby. And I feel like they don't even realize, oh, by the way, we have 9-9 nine, nine coming out here. 9-9 nine, nine may mean something to you. You may want to look up 9-9. Nine, nine. Um, I do feel like they they know they could be wounded too. The, the, this relationship could have wounded you both, right? It could have really did a number on you. What is second chance in a lone spirit? What is this? This person feels lonely without you. Yeah, they really have a lot of nostalgia. Make sure you're not reminiscing. I, I mean, rom romanticizing the past. Don't romanticize the past. But this person is taking the next steps. Um, Spirit's asking you to continue moving forward. But they um, are moving forward towards you. They're planning something. The world is in your hands, Scorpio. Right? You are ambitious. You're making ambitious moves. You're making boss moves. You're bossing up. This person sees that. They, they are um, really looking back right now they are revisiting um your relationship they're revisiting things that happened in y'all's relationship yeah they want to come in and invest they absolutely do they've been in the hermit they've been in um contemplation they could have even got a spiritual mentor they could have been getting tarot readings they could have um asked a friend or family member that actually gave them some pretty good advice but they have been silent They've been silent. Their heart chakra is opening um, and they are wanting a second chance. What is release and healing spirit? Yeah, see, they're planning to come on in here in the Knight of Cups. Now, make sure you don't get love bombed, okay? Because they're going to come in here with a lot of love, a lot of, um, I heard, oversharing, a lot of just, a lot. They're going to be a lot when they come in. So make sure um, that I feel they want to sweep you, sweep you off their feet, your feet, right? They make your heart flutter. You make their heart flutter. They are planning though. They're planning for the long term, but they, they're releasing something. They could be releasing somebody. They could um, be releasing a queen or king of pentacles. That's bitter. That's hostile. Okay. They could be releasing somebody that does not want to be released. Oh boy. Um, so essentially this person is releasing somebody else to come on into you. They're healing. They're in regret. What did I say, guys? I don't just make things up here. Like they are going through a breakup and they're in a lot of regret. They're releasing somebody else. Mm. They're healing, though. That You are hooking up in the 5D. You may feel this person. You may already know what's going on. Um, and I feel like, <clears throat> yeah, it's making you anxious. It's making them anxious. You can feel their energy, and it's a very anxious energy. But they're wearing a mask still, or they're coming in to take this mask off right? They could be taking their mask off. They're going to want you to read between the lines, or they could have already reached out to you and wanted you to read between the lines. This person could have reached out to you and not been a hundred percent clear with you about what was going on in their life or about what they wanted. They, um, if they haven't, they're about to, they're going to, um, Holy Spirit, please tell me what is coming towards Scorpio. What is going on with this person? Yeah. See messages coming in. There could be gossip, all right, there could be gossip around this person, gossip about y'all. They're very anxious. They want to come in and have a verbal discussion. We have a Sagittarius card here. You could be dealing with a Sag. You could be dealing with a Earth sign. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Water sign, a Fire sign. Um, this was a deeply rooted past life relationship. Deeply rooted. A deeply rooted relationship you shared with them. They are growing, though. They are. Their health, they could have had health problems. Um, this person may have had health issues that, that they're healing as well. You may have had health issues that are getting better. Somebody here could have for sure. Now, we have have patience. We also have Virgo. Again, when we have two have patience cards with 12 days to 12 weeks. 
but it's a Sagittarius card. Something um, could be happening soon for some of you. This person wants to come in and have verbal conversation or they're going to call you and tell you something. Now, the thing is, is I feel like, um, yeah, this is fate. This is karma. The, the, this is a yes card any day now and Leo, okay? A breakthrough, solutions, um, answers. Right? So you're about to find, you're about to have some answers, Scorpio. Thank goodness, because I feel a lot of you are just left in the dark here. There were secrets. You're learning something. You're learning a fact. You're learning facts. We also have Pisces. So you're learning some, this person's coming in to give you information or you are hearing it from somebody else. You may hear that this person's going through a breakup on the street. If you if you share mutual friends, some of you is are going to hear this through friends. You're gonna hear that this person is going through a breakup or their health is getting better. If they had health issues, something's going on there too. Um, now, for some of you, I'm just going to say this. This person could have had an STD. And it could be one of the reasons why they've been holding off on coming in. Um, they could have been trying to uh, take a round of antibiotics. Now, some of you, this person just has basic regular health issues, right? They have like um, high blood pressure or anxiety. And maybe they were put on medication. There's something here like that too it's either <clears throat> about their anxiety that they're they're healing maybe they're meditating maybe they're really getting their self balanced but this person is releasing old beliefs um divine timing is at play here you're dreaming about them i you know lots about dreaming i said about dreaming and then we also have 5d guys so you are dreaming about them i picked this up on the last reading this person here, <clears throat> you and them, and my throat chakra is feeling really funny. There's something they want to say to you. There's something they've never said to you. Maybe it's I love you. I don't know, but there's something they want to come out and tell you. It could be a secret. Holy Spirit, please tell me 1717 on the clock. That might be a, a number for you. I don't want anybody else but you. I'm releasing my third parties. I'm releasing my beliefs. This is what I want. I got triggered. You triggered me. I, I got triggered and I acted like an asshole and I went into um, hermit mode and I ran. Um, basically is what this person's saying. I ran. I feel alone now. You are my forever love. I love you forever. I'll always love you. Maybe I haven't told you that Scorpio, but I will always love you. You inspire me to get healthy, to do better. You've inspired this person. Maybe they have um, changed their health regimen. There's something you have inspired them to do. They feel really alone without you, Scorp. Um, and if you do not want this person, then, you know, at least grab the closure and keep moving, right? Keep moving forward. Um, I feel you're healing, you're releasing things, you're releasing wounds, and this is very beautiful. Your belief systems are changing for the better. You're going through an ascension. And this is what's coming towards you. So if you haven't been able to release this, if you haven't been able to release the fear, the doubt, the sadness, you're going to be able to, honey. It's coming. So hang in there. It is coming. Holy Spirit, please tell me, how is this going to end? What's going to happen? And how is this going to end? We have a lot about feminine energy. Some of you could be in a um, same-sex relationship, okay? But the thing is, is your person's in a feminine energy. <clears throat> and that's where they actually need to be. They need to be in more of a feminine energy so they can receive love, okay? So you could also have a third party coming at you. You could have another feminine energy coming at you if you're a feminine. If you're a masculine, you could have two feminines coming towards you. Um, one you have something with in the past, another is a new one. So know that. Um, for the masculines, you could definitely have a feminine coming towards you. This person's going to come in here exaggerating though. Um, they are in some fantasy world. They, 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 are living in their mind, fantasizing a lot. And like I said, feminine energy. So we have feminine twice, twice here. Um, whatever the case is, this person's trying to decide if, if it's a masculine between two feminines as well. Um, 
or they're just in a feminine energy and they're about to um, show you a different side of their self. You're going to come, they're going to come in and it is going to be fun. You are going to have joy and laughter. You are going to have some fun with this person, but there's barriers between y'all. There's distance between y'all, whether that's emotional or actual physical. Um, there could be an argument, right? This person could come in and tell you a secret or tell you something that you've always wanted to know that they've done. And there could be some stress. There could be some arguing, um, but followed by joy and laughter. So, you know, guys, it just, it depends on how you, um, what your situation is. This person could come in and you could just have an argument about them ghosting or them disappearing and then move forward. Or you could um, tell them to uh, kick rocks. It depends on where you are and what you want to do. Um, basically, tell me how this is going to end, Spirit. Yeah, see, a lot of you are going to move on. A lot of you, though, this person's traveling towards you. They could live at a distance, okay? They could live long distance, and um, uh, they're traveling towards you. And we literally have things work out, out take off. So uh, I feel it just depends on your story, really. But here comes communication. There's going to be a lot of communication back and forth. But somebody here has a sharp tongue. Somebody here is arrogant. Um, one of your, your people are arrogant and have a sharp tongue and may say things that really um, hurt you in an argument. So be careful about this. You're going to reclaim your power, though, and move forward, whether you are moving on without this person, whatever the case is, you're reclaiming your power here. Okay, you're going forward. You're moving on. This is beautiful. A steady climb with no resistance. And the truth is you're about to express your truth. You are reclaiming this power. You're going to get it back. You're changing the rules of this game. If they want to play check, you don't play. What is that? I don't play check checkers. I play chess, baby. So essentially, you are taking your power back here, Scorpio. And you are showing them what you're made of. So if this is you showing them and, and then working on things or you just walking out the door, you are at least going to get to reclaim your power. So I love it. I absolutely love it. Gemini, Cancer, Libra, Virgo, as well as Leo again. I hope everybody has a beautiful and very blessed day. Remember, all I do is win. Whatever I desire, I can acquire. Love and light.